Hi folks, a power hour can mean different things to different people. A big mountain ride, a punishing one hour trials workout, or maybe a cross country ride. Now, I really don't know why I get myself in these situations because today we are joined by the twice world downhill champion, Danny Hart. Danny, how's the family? Family's doing well. Trails are riding fast. So you've had plenty of time in lockdown, right? Yeah, it's been great. Yeah. I see you've got a new pony. I do. It's a Stereo SLT 160, right? Yeah, the long travel for these punishing descents we've got here. Uh, so listen, what does one hour, one hour power hour mean to you? Yeah, for me, like a, the power hour is like, just like I would do on my normal bike, but you just get twice as much. Climb up, trail single track down, climb up, single track down. Yeah. That's all. That's all I'm about, you know. I have seen you on a trials bike before, so can you give me a bit of insight into what's lying ahead of, for me? I mean, I know that I won't be anywhere near you on the descents, but man, I'm hoping, I'm just hoping that I can keep with them on the climbs. Yeah, we've got a couple of steep climbs, a couple of rooty climbs, rocky, and just steep ones that would usually go down, you know, and I've resorted to going up them on the e-bike. It turns the climb into quite good fun, so. Right, well, in the spirit of the power hour, let's not hang about and let's go and see what you've got in store. Let's get on it. Bloody hell, Danny, it's a bit slick, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, I'm not used to this. So... The sea bike's all new to me. Because this is like trials. Hey, so how many runs, how many climbs would you normally do in an hour? Yeah, I think if I was pushing on, we'd probably get 10 climbs. Okay. And do you like the climbs? I mean, it's a good technical part of the ride, right? It makes it a bit more interesting. It's not like, oh, hell, we've got to climb up now. Sometimes you can make it a bit more fun. Yeah, for sure. Breezes a bit. Oh. Ah. Oh. He's, not, he's not bad actually, old Danny. One to me. One point for the heart. Well, Danny, I really did think we'd be going up uh, uphill on fire roads and hitting all the downhill tracks, but. Oh, there'll be some downhill tracks. Oh man, look at these roots. Oh my God, Nick, check this out. Looks amazing. I want to see you get a what? Wall. No, you've got to you've be got joking. That first. I was totally expecting a downhill day. Oh, Look he's at the done size it. of these roots. Ah. Oh, pressure's I think you'll find that's a clean, Danny. It was a bit messy. Can go. <laughs> Ooh, quite tasty, isn't it? Bloody hell. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait for granddad, mine. Oh, this is nice. Oh, bloody hell, Danny, you can give me, give me some. Stop moaning. Stop moaning. Stop moaning as the ground tips to like one in two 
Oh, I see. He was just getting his momentum. Oh, man. F*** me, hold on a minute. Holy, Danny, wait. I'm f***. Ah, oh, Well, that's tech. Bollocks. Bollocks. You got me. Flowy, he says. Whoa. Oh, you can see why he did not too bad the champery. Why do I get myself into these positions? Following a World Cup race winner. What the f <laughs> Slick. Even slicker. I see you've got the technique there. Pretty dialed in, Danny. Well, sat down. I don't. <laughs> oh, here we go. I'm a bastard. Oh, really? Up there? Ah. I'm in. Just. Whoa! Oh, he's single track, he says. Oh, you bastard. Unbelievable. Yeah, like vertical single track. A mess it was as I became sucked into a pace I found hard to live with, oh. often ending up in the cuttings as oh, Danny slashed the hill apart. The red car rocket knew every rock, every route, every gap. Well, that's my excuse at least. Or maybe it was fatigue from the long drive north. Or no, maybe, well, maybe I was just simply being overworked. Oh, oh so respectable. Oh, God, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was powerless in this power hour, and as the tracks just kept on coming, Danny was making the stereo sing, as I was still floundering around in mono, with the surround sound of cracking sticks and the smell of scorched earth. <laughs> Oh, f off, are you serious? And he's gone. It is great to see an EMTB really being pushed hard and used as a tool for one of the world's fastest races. Still, there was no time to ponder. The clock was still ticking. Well, 
this is a bit of a different surface, Danny. Is this normally what you use to get to the top? They've just done this, actually. Good on the e-bike, though. Better, th better than on the normal bike. Oh, for sure. So, tell me, how many, how many kind of downhill runs do you expect to do in a session? Um, I don't suppose, I don't really do it on runs. I'll do it on meters. So, I've okay. been doing like 1,200 to 1,400 meters each time I'm riding. Say that again. 12 to 1400 meters. What? In an hour? Wow! I mean, I guess you are what? 65 kilos? Yeah, nearly 70. But yeah, if you want to start getting into that. <laughs> so, do you know when you do your runs then? Are you looking for like, you know, I mean, there's obviously a lot of roots on this hill, right? Yeah. So it's, um, and some of the sections are pretty steep, right? Yeah, yeah. That also means for a steep climb back up. So it's quite, um, it's not very forgiving on the normal bike, but on this bike it's really good because you can go up even steeper ones than you would try and do on your normal bike and it makes it a bit more fun. Do you like, you like the uphill sections then, right? Yeah, it's quite good, yeah. Well, it's a bit, it takes a bit of getting used to, you know, like the bike <laughs> sounds stupid, but it can get away from you a little bit sometimes. Yeah, that'll if do your weight slow though. it's and tight. That'll do your weight. Yeah. <laughs> Right, that's just plain ridiculous. This is like so steep. Nice though. Ah, oh, Danny, what kept you? Got hypothermia in the trees waiting for you and you must have went a different way. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go folks, uh, uh, an insight into the world of a World Cup downhill racer and Danny Hart's Power Hour. We did about, I think it was about 10 climbs and descents, some technical climbs, some equally technical descents. I mean, after all, what would you expect from a guy who can absolutely put people to the sword on wet conditions like Chompry back in 2011. Danny, thanks so much for uh, spending an hour. It's so cool to see you on an e-mountain bike. So cool to see um, seeing you having such a great time on an e-mountain bike. Uh, it looks to me that you're gonna need some new tires and pads soon though on that, be using it that much. I was thinking when I was riding, I need to get out on my normal bike a little bit. <laughs> the e-bike pony is a success well, though. Well, for sure, yeah, I really yeah. enjoy it. Cool. Uh, did you actually nick that out of my bag? No, I picked that in the shop. Okay, right. Uh, Danny Hart, uh, what a star. Uh, Open the uh, downhill racing year goes well for you this year? Yeah. On the new Cube 215? Get, yeah, we can get going again soon. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Folks, uh, let's know your thoughts on the power hour. What is your power hour? Get involved in the comments down below and see you next time out on the hills.